the football club have only one point from five matches and of course before we move on to Oliech of course we want to talk about KCB football club and how their season has been one point five matches currently lying at 17th on the log and uh, of course uh, in studio I have uh, Ronald Okoth who's a former KCB uh, player Ronald what's not happening at uh, the bankers well I think uh, it's expected we know some teams when they get promoted the Kenya Premier League, they always find it tough. <coughs> but Absolutely. much has been said that maybe the the big reshuffling that that took place in the team maybe uh, has been uh, destabilizing the team. But to me, I don't think it's, ju it's, it's that. It's just a matter of maybe trying to get their get their things in order and right in, in, in that team because they have a very good team in the in at KCB and probably to me in the NSL to me that was the money bags of the NSL they are okay. the Manchester City in the NSL <laughs> because they have they have yeah, everything yes. everything it takes the money facilities everything it takes maybe to perform better and that's why they performed better in last season in the NSL okay. you see the type of quality the, the type of players they sign in the team yeah, the sure, likes of sure. some internationals from from Tanzania Amazing, from yeah. Rwanda so to me I think it's all about maybe just making these guys not to play well but uh, having said that I think our Kenya Premier League is a very tough league especially for the new boys and it's also just proving yeah. it's just proving itself because they're really struggling a lot to try and adapt mm -hmm. and to me the earlier they adapt the better because in the first leg when you don't play well mm -hmm. the second leg is always tough uh, yeah Salib was zero this is a side that signed 15 new players I mean <coughs> Uh, that's like a whole new team. Yeah, it's, that's, <laughs> that's having a whole new team. And does it mean that, you know, they were not ready for their promotion to the top tier league? Not really, Robinson. It's just a matter of roping, roping in a lot of uh, new players. Yeah. It has got to take them time to gel together because, as, as Ronald here is saying, they're, 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 they're players from different countries. They play different kind of football in their country. So when they come and, and join up together, they have got to find a way to, to make sure the system works right for all of them. Mm -hmm. But then again, I think it's just a matter of what is happening behind closed doors at yeah. KCB that is yeah. causing all this trouble because when your you back, back, back room is not at ease, the players cannot play football because it gets into your mind so I think for me at the end of the day they have got to get their house in order because five games in four losses and one draw they have got to do better because as again Ronald is saying yes. if you get to the second leg and you didn't collect maximum points in the first leg you're in big big trouble yes yeah, and uh, you saw the same thing happening at Manchester United yes. when you know the backroom staff when the coaching staff you know yeah. everything's not at ease yes. <laughs> definitely the performance will be poor okay. and uh, with the, rep the recent reports we are hearing about the coaches being suspended mm -hmm. and even maybe their senior player who to me has always been inspiration in that team Dennis Orenge mm -hmm. yeah. and I think to me maybe they should just maybe recall them back and maybe try to figure out yeah, what's wrong what because at the end of the day you know it's a team sport mm -hmm. the moment you'll be sideliding some senior players in the team I think you know these senior players they, they have some influence in that team okay. so probably it's just a matter of maybe trying to put this case together and even a coach like Elvis Anu to me has, has done so much for this team to me True. he should he should just be brought back recalled back and maybe they should just try and put things in order mm -hmm. and try to go for the try to tackle one match at a time yeah. well speaking of tackles now let's we are still on the kcb story and uh, reports emerged yesterday evening that uh, the assistant coach that is ezekiel akwana and elvis elvis ayani and of course uh, the captain uh, dennis orenge had been suspended pending investigations into some uh, uh sabotage of course uh, we want to take a quick look at uh, that uh, report uh, that came out from uh, the bankers on uh, the suspension of the three uh that is the two uh the two assistant coaches that is ezekiel akwana and uh, dennis orenge who is the skipper they have been placed on suspension and barred from accessing the club or its facilities as the club opens investigations on claims made against them following a meeting held at the close of 2018. Akwana, who joined the team at the start of the current season, having led Nakuru all since last season, has been accused of causing disunity on the technical bench, SM to Ayani, who was in charge of the team as it made the leap from the National Super League last year. So those are the, some of the reports that came out, of course, uh, that uh, the trio have been uh, in quotes causing <laughs> sabotage uh, to the bankers. You've been under Ayani. Yeah. While you were at uh, K KCB. Yeah, and actually uh, Dennis Orenge was my captain. Dennis Orenge was, a, was your captain. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, wh what are your thoughts on this? Well, to me, uh, I don't take them lightly. Yes. Because to me, if you talk about KCB, you can't separate the name of KCB and Elvis Ayani. Uh -huh. Because he's been in that, in that club for years and yes, years, absolutely. even while they were still in the Premier League. And to, there was a time even he, they left for him 
to take, to take over take the club, over. and yeah. he really performed well the, with them. Yeah. He's a coach that is a no-nonsense. He likes to demand results from his players. Mm. So I still don't understand how it has come to a, such a point that maybe yeah. they're causing this unity. <laughs> yeah. But probably maybe that could, could have been caused by maybe having two assistant coaches uh -huh. at the same time, sure. and both of them are hands-on manager. If you look at Ezekiel Akwana, yeah. uh, also a very experienced tactician yes. working as assistant, assistant coach, coach next to... Uh, Elvis Ayan is also very experienced and knows this team means in and out. Yeah, so yeah. probably I think there may be some push and shove between them. But having said that, I think uh, Elvis Ayan to me has always been the right man for the job. Mm. And I believe even maybe if this team, his partnership with me, the experienced coach like Ouna, probably I think they were, they were going far. Yeah. But having said that, probably maybe they should try and tackle some of these things much earlier. Yeah. Well, uh, Salim, next they play Kariobangi Sharks and uh, they will be without the skipper and the two captains. The match will be played tomorrow. Do you expect them to get at least uh, maximum points against uh, Sharks? <laughs> no, not really. No disrespect to Ronald's former team. Yes. Because we have watched Kariobangi Sharks play. The last time they, they went out there, they beat Kogalo by a goal to nil. Yeah. So it, it shows you the quality. But they were held uh, by... The bottom place team in the league, <laughs> that is uh, Nakumat or uh, Mount Kenya United, <laughs> that, that, for one all draw. That's the unpredictability of football. But, yes. but besides that, the Kariobangi Sharks is, is a very quality, quality side. And they say the further you go in the league, the tougher it becomes. Yeah. It's, it's not going to get any easier for KCB. Yeah. So if they don't collect points as soon as they can, uh, it will be done and dusted by the time we get Second to, yeah, we get to yeah. 10, 10, 12 games, 15 games. So uh -huh, yeah. I think for me... Tomorrow it's going to be a crunch tie because, again, they need that performance. They really need it badly. Well, they need it ba badly.